Hello everyone. <laughs> happy, 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 happy new year. This is your girl Naturally Keela. Sorry, I know how I am. This is your girl Naturally Keela and I am back. Finally, happy new year. I can't even say it any more than that. Well, yeah, I can. Happy New Year. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here, y'all. I really am. Um, it's been a long year already. Um, I had nearly had an eye ulcer in my left eye. Um, you guys know from my other videos, I've been wearing contacts forever, color contacts and clear contacts because I have to wear I I can't see. Um, but I had been properly taking them out, cleaning them like I should, throwing them out, you know, putting in a new pair. And my eye got, you know, sick of it and really got sick. And basically I could have gone blind in my eye, but luckily I caught it in time, took the medication for it, my eye healed, and then got sick. Um, caught a cold that was really bad and I'm still fighting it. You can probably hear it in my voice. But nonetheless, I am um, getting better, slowly but surely. So I missed um, welcoming in the new year with you all and, you know, giving you guys the rundown of what my hair, what, what was going on with my hair and some of the things that I decided that I needed to do to get better hair. And honestly, I feel like I have a great, um, you know, texture of hair, grade of hair, whatever terminology you want to use. But I feel like it can always be better and it can always get healthier and it can always grow longer and it can always do this, this and that. So I am determined to um, do more deep conditions than what I was doing because y'all know me. I told y'all I don't do things like I'm supposed to, but I would do it maybe every couple of months. And I do a hot oil treatment every couple of months, just whenever I felt like it, whenever I decided I probably needed to do it. So I'm, I'm, I really want to get myself into the habit of doing these like every Sunday, especially with me having color. Um, which luckily for me, my color hasn't been doling out on me and, and just being dry. But um, I think I, I will get better results with doing it a little bit more on a regular basis. So we're going to see how that goes. So that's one thing that I want to do. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to play with projective styles a little bit more. We'll see. My hair really does well when I straighten it because I straighten it, I wrap it every night. I get up in the morning and go to work. I unwrap it. Occasionally, I might get my flat iron, bump it a little bit to feather, pin it, and go. But usually, if I have to bump it and I do... Um, pin it or feather it then my hair will you know hold that curl for a couple of days and I'm really good until I'm you know tired of wearing my hair straight and then I might do a twist out or braid out for the first time as you guys can see you know I'm I'm, I'm trying I'm trying y'all but I'm, I'm trying not to wear it as straight as often but I do love my hair straight and it works for me my hair grows but we're going to see how this works out. But today's look, hope you guys like it. It's a braid out. And it's my first time doing a braid out. And didn't know if I would like it. I really didn't think I would like it. But once I finished it and then I took it, you know, you know, took the braids out, it was really, really pretty. Um, except for the very bottom part of my hair. Because I had braided it down. But I left the back a little bit bigger than I did the rest of it. So... You guys know me from my rod sets and everything else you guys have seen. I like for everything to kind of be even when I do my um, styles. So I ended up pinning it up because I was going to a dinner for my grandfather um, to celebrate his 50 years with his company. So, you know, make it the best out of my situation and I really like it. So I don't know if I should repray it tonight and... um you know, so to be fresh for church in the morning or if I should just let it be and whatever happens in the morning happens. <clears throat> but um, I, I like this. I, I, I do like pinups. I never thought I would. So it works, I guess, for my face. But there's a side view. So you guys can see it's nothing special. Just a couple of bottle pins around there. Don't mind my nails. I know they're not done, but I'm doing some time. 
So I really just want you guys to see my hair. No special products. Um, I received some samples um, from a salon that I had went to, and it was there some Jane Carter solution products that they had. Their Nourish and Shine, which is this, and the um, leave-in conditioner right here. So basically, besides the fact that I did a deep condition this morning and I used this cholesterol, um, for me it really doesn't matter what conditioner I use when I do my deep conditioners. I just like to deep condition, and this is something that I've I've always used cholesterol since my relaxed days. So um, it works for me. And this is like two eighty nine local beauty supply store. Deep condition with that. Let it sit on my hair for like thirty minutes. Um, then I made sure my hair was still soaking wet and have a little spray bottle that you guys know I keep with my different little essential oils in it <coughs> to re-moisture my hair when it would dry, you know, the further up that I would get. And did my braid out and this was the result of it. My mom says I look, um, <laughs> look fancy. I'm like, okay, I'll take that. <laughs> but anyway. Um, I digress. Y'all know I get silly and I get very random and it's late and I'm tired so I'm going to really talk your head off. But I just really wanted to update you guys, let you guys see this look. Um, ask you guys to follow me on Twitter. I am almost at 400 subscribers on here on YouTube. I am so excited because when I first started I never thought that anyone would even want to look at my videos. I was like, they're going to be this girl whatever but I'm so appreciative I, I so appreciate the love and y'all are so nice like really nice um but I'm thankful for that and even if you have any kind of criticism I'm thankful that for thankful for that too because you might be telling me something that might help me get to where I'm trying to be so or I might be helping you and I hope I am <laughs> but um anyway thank you all I have so much catching up to do with you all and I will do that soon I promise but um, anyway, like I always say, do something nice for your hair and do something nice for yourself, alright? Y'all be good. Bye.